Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video we will learn the very basics of Excel. So let's start with what is a cell. See if I click over here you see this green line correct. Now this is a cell. It is the smallest block in Excel which can hold any amount of value. It can hold numbers in it. See. I'll type numbers over here. It can hold text in it. It can have symbols in it like this. It can have a formula written into it is equal to sum and one plus one close bracket and the answer is two. So a cell is identified by a unique address. How? Like this cell is in column D and in row 4. So the address of this cell is D4 which we can see here also. This cell is E4 because the column is E and row number is 4. This cell is I8. See, you can see that over here also. So this is a cell. Now we will understand what is a column. A column is a vertical stack of data in Excel. A column is identified by a natural header in the form of alphabets. A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. If we go over here, you can see that the alphabets continue. You can select a column by clicking on the column header over here. You can also Click anywhere in the column and press control space to select that column. You can adjust the width of a column by taking your mouse over here on every column like this at the edge and then using your mouse to drag to change the width from left to right for lesser or more width. All right. You can add a column anywhere in Excel, n number of columns, all right? So how do we do that? Say for example, currently if I write one over here, all right? So we know one is written in column E. Now I'm going to click on the column header, do a right click and click on insert. So a new column got inserted and whatever was mentioned in column E got moved to column F, see? Same way I can delete a column, I'll select a column by clicking on the header. Right click it, click on delete and the column will get deleted. Complete column with whatever was written there will get deleted. Simple, correct? So this is how we work with the column. Then what is a row? A row is a horizontal stack of data which goes from left to right. Every row is identified by a number. So this is row number one. This is row number two. This is row number six. All right. And you can also select a row by pressing shift space. Shift and the space key. Together will select the row for you. Once a row is selected, you can take multiple actions. Like if you press delete, whatever is mentioned in that row will get, get deleted. I'm pressing control and the Z key together. Control Z to undo whatever I have done. I can undo whatever I have done from here also. See, I am pressing delete. This gets deleted. I am clicking, clicking on undo and this comes back. Now you can adjust the height of a row in the same manner that we adjusted the width of a column. Correct? Like this. If you select a row, do a right click. You get an option to insert a row. See? So once a row is inserted, you can add more data to it and make use of it. If you want to delete a row, you click on the row header, which is this number. Do a right click and click on delete. You'll be able to delete it. So very simple. All right. Now we will understand what is a range. A range in Excel is a collection of cells. Very simple. It can be of any size. A range can be of one cell also. It can be a collection of two cells also like this. It can be a collection of all these cells like this. It can be a collection of all these cells like this also. It is called a range. It is primarily used 
to make totals, use in formulas. In one of my videos, I have covered how to use range. You can even provide names to ranges. And it's a very, very useful thing. But right now, what you need to understand at the very, very basic level is that a collection of cells is called a range. All right. Now we will learn how to insert values, a very important aspect. Now, what we will do is that we know what is a cell, that it is the smallest block in Excel which can hold any value. So whatever values that we need to insert have to be inserted in a cell. So I'm going to select this area, change the font size. I'm increasing the font size over here so that whatever we type is a bit more visible. So now you know how to increase the font size also. So I can enter numbers over here. I can enter text. I can enter symbols. I can enter formulas, like I said. We will be learning how to do formulas in our later videos. So I'm entering two plus two. All right. And a cell can hold a lot of digits, a lot of digits. See? But what happens if you enter a lot of digits? It will not be directly visible, so you will have to go ahead and increase the size of this cell to look at them at together. But that is how we insert values. All right. Now, if you want to delete something, for example, I want to delete this. You just select this cell, press the delete key. Okay. If you want to delete this value, you can also select the cell and press the backspace key. You want to delete this. There is a third way. You select this. You click on this cell. You go over here in the address bar and press the backspace or the delete key. It gets deleted. Also, you click on the cell you want to delete. All right, do a right click and click on delete. So it will say shift cell up. That means whatever was mentioned below will get shifted up. I'll be explaining this in more detail. So that was why I'm mentioning it two, one, two. Okay, the format has changed for this. Let me go ahead and give it a format. So a, this is the one format which I want to copy over here. So I'll click this cell, go to format painter and click over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Now if I want to delete two, all right, I do a right click. I click on delete. What will happen? It, it gives me option shift cell left, shift cell up, entire row, entire column. What it is trying to say is that if I will delete this, it gives me these options that would you like to shift these cells up? I say yes. So three, four, five move up and two is deleted. So that was another way of deleting content. Also, you can delete content from here. Clear all. It's gone. So multiple ways of deleting content. How to copy data now? Very, very important. Now, if you want to copy data, most of us do have to do that correct in our regular lives in Excel. So whatever data you want to copy, say for example, I want to copy this. What is a cell? I select this, I click on this cell, do a right click and click on copy and click on the cell where I want to paste it, do a right click and choose paste. It gets pasted. There is a keyboard version also. I press Control C. To copy it and to paste it, I click on any cell where I want to paste it and press Control V. It gets pasted. That's how easy it is. So we now know how to copy, how to paste. Now, wherein there is another option like we copied this cell from here to here. So a copy exists here and exists here also. But what if I want to move this from here to somewhere else? So instead of Doing a control C, I do a control X and I click over here and do a control V. So it gets removed from here and gets moved to this place. You can do that using a mouse also. Do a right click, okay, and choose cut. Select the cell where you want to paste it, right click it and paste. That is how we cut and paste data. All right, now let's move to editing data. So, editing data is also very, very easy. There are multiple ways of doing about it. Say, if I want to edit this cell, I can directly click on this cell and then edit the data over here. What is a cell? And it is a 
smallest unit in Excel. All right, so I was able to edit it. If I want to edit it from here, I double click over here and take my mouse cursor to wherever I want and say, instead of it is the smallest, it is the smallest unit in Excel. If I want to edit it further, the third way I press F2 key. And F2 key would directly take my cursor at the end of this sentence or, or whatever text is there in the cell or whatever number is there. And then I can take my editing options and use them. So I made E as capital. So this is how you edit data three ways. Double clicking over here, doing it from here or pressing F2. In case you are using a laptop, then laptops usually have multiple functions assigned to F keys. So I'm sure they would be a FN key with a different color of alphabets on it. And you can press FN key with the F2 key to activate the F2 option. Now we will learn how to insert comments. That's a very, very important thing. Now, if you want to insert comments anywhere, you just do a right click on that cell, all right, and go to insert comment. And then it will tell your name, which is my name right now. I am a comment. I can be edited, deleted, or moved. See, I wrote this comment. Whenever I hover my mouse on this cell, it will read out the comment for us. So I am a comment. I can be edited, deleted, or moved. So if I want to now edit it, I do a right click, and I get this option, edit comment, and I can click over here and change it. If I want to delete the comment, I can delete the comment from here and I can show or hide the comment. That means now it is permanently visible. I don't need to hover it and I can move it around also like this. I can hide comment and it will become visible only on cell hovering. So this is how we insert comments. How to add a worksheet? No, no, that's very, very important. Now, this is worksheet one. To add another worksheet, you simply click on this plus symbol and a new worksheet opens. This is Excel 2016, so it, by default, only one worksheet is opened, but in earlier version, you could see sheet one, two, and three opened automatically. You can add another worksheet by clicking over here and your worksheet gets added over here and you can use it the way you want. If you want to delete a worksheet, you just right click it and click on delete you'll be able to delete a worksheet. You can there, are, if you want to rename this worksheet, you just double click over here and give it a new name. I am sheet two, okay? That very easy. Now that we know the very basics of Excel, this can take you along to the next level where we can learn how to use formulas and all, which you can, of course, learn from my website, mylesson.org. Go to the Excel training video section and you can watch the videos there, again, for free. And now we will learn how to save a file. So, for example, you have done a lot of work and you want to save it. So, currently, whenever you open a file, it opens with the name as book one, book two, book three. And if you want to save it, you click on file. Choose the save option and we'll ask the location. So I'll say, I'll save it in this folder and it will ask for a name. So it will be basics of Excel. And I save it. That's how easy it is to save a file. Now coming to sharing the file. You again click on file. You get multiple options of sharing. So first is share itself. You can share it on cloud. You need to have a OneDrive account, all right? You can email it. You click on email and it will send it as an attachment or send it as a PDF. You can send it as an XPS attachment or a internet fax. Easiest way is sending it at, as an attachment, all right? Then you can share a file by using export option also. You can go ahead and create a PDF of your file 
from here also. So usually it is helpful when you are creating invoices, bills, etc. So this way you can attach a file and send it out. All right. And now the most important part: how to print a Excel sheet. All right. To print an Excel sheet, you click on File, go to Print command, and you will see a preview of your file over here and you can click on print printing is a lot more than just what we see because we only see one one set of data over here i'm pressing escape this is not visible how to get all of this visible there are options of doing that i'm not covering that in this video they are in another video of mine called how to print in excel you can check that on my website again for free and so now that you have learned the basics of excel maybe i should suggest the next set of videos for you you can take the excel crash course which i teach all right as the link is mentioned in the description below it's a youtube video then you can watch this video very very popular 20 excel formulas 20 excel tips and 10 charts and then you can watch this 10 excel tips all these videos are free and are on youtube the links of these videos are mentioned in the description below you can also watch the 10 most used charts in Excel. And if you're looking for a job or something, then these are the 10 questions, five questions that usually get asked in job interviews. So I hope this would have cleared a lot of stuff for you as, as to how to use Excel. If you did, do like this video. And in case you have any questions, please mention them in the comments. And I'll be glad to answer that for you. And do do go ahead and subscribe to the channel so whenever there are new videos that I upload, you will get to know about them and I'll also feel motivated by your subscription. Hope you like this video. See you in the next video.